because my last boyfriend had been Irish. And in Ireland, we practice this ancient mating ritual called sneering each other. And I mean, it's very hard to tell. Some people are like, how do you know if someone Irish is flirting with you or just being genuinely abusive towards you? <laughs> and the answer is, you can't. You just can't. So someone might be like, oh my God, what did he say to you? Well, he said to me that I was probably barren because I'd been ridden around the town that many times. I was like the village bicycle. And instead of eggs, I had like tumbleweeds tumbling through my womb. <gasps> and what did you say to him? Well, I said to him that his penis is so small that condoms won't actually fit over it. So instead, what you have to do is you have to take a vitamin E capsule and cut it in half and then squeeze out all the oil out of that vitamin E capsule and then put that over his penis and even then you'd still be able to fit your pinky around the circumference of it. <laughs> oh my god and so what's happening? We're moving in together. I really really like him. <laughs> but in America you guys are such weirdos. Someone came up to me in the middle of the day in a coffee shop and he was like hey how are you? Sorry I just uh I heard your Irish accent there and I am. Um, <laughs> My grandmother was Irish, and um, I'd love to talk to you sometime. Uh, I'm if, sorry if this is too forward, but there's my number. You're under no obligation to ring me at all, but I'd love to take you for coffee sometime. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's the middle of the day. I'm completely sober. We haven't even had sex yet. You're asking me for a coffee? Fuck off, you rapist. <laughs> so weird, so weird.